Hello everyone and welcome to the second video in the T1000 tutorial series. In this video, we will take a look at some of the status displays of the T1000E. First, if you want to turn on the T1000E, press the button and wait for about 5 seconds until the buzzer plays an ascending melody and the LED lights up for 0.5 seconds. If the LED is flashing randomly like this, it means that the T1000E is operating. In firmware version 2.4.2, the T1000E does not make a sound when receiving message. You need to configure this manually. First, go to the settings and click on external notification to enable all the following settings. Then click save. Wait for the buzzer to play and sending melody and the LED to light up briefly. This indicates that the configuration was successful. Next, let's use another device to send a message. When the message is received, the buzzer and LED will behave like that. When the message is sent, there is no hardware indication. We can confirm whether the message was sent through the notifications in the chat interface. If you want to charge, connect the 4-pin charging cable. The LED of the t 1000 will light up for 0.5 seconds and then turn off for 0.5 seconds, repeating this circle. If you want to reset the t 1000 e you can use the charging cable. Press and hold the button while connect the magnetic charging cable once, then release the button. At this point, the previously flashing LED will turn off, wait for the buzzer to sound, and the LED will light up. This indicates that the device has restarted successfully, then enter charging cable. If you want to enter the FU mode, use the charging cable, press and hold the button, connect the charging cable magnetically twice, then release the button, just like this. At this point, the LED will stay on continuously. The computer will display a USB drive named the T1000E, and you can copy the firmware onto it. Additionally, we can update the node or location information by pressing the button twice. The information can be reviewed from the serial port. And pressing the button three times will turn the GPS turn off. Finally, if you are not using the T1000E, please turn it off to save the power. Simply press and hold the button for about 5 seconds until the buzzer plays a descending melody. This means that the T1000E has been turned off. 